We were thinking about what we were going to read and everything, and uh, I found an old poem that I'd started quite a while ago. I had asked Brian to just give me a word, just one word to be, to start me off basically on a poem, and I found it, and then I made this today out of it, and it's called Treasure. There is no buried treasure. I say this to you, my angel, with dirt under your nails and on your knees, the brand of burnt grass impressing your skin. I do not understand the weight stones hold for you, what it means that they can survive. Show me again how when you cry, the wet, it catches fire as it falls, how it's your own fault, this yard and ruin that no amount of digging can dent. The children's fort lies collapsed and deserted, busted binoculars and loose change left to the planked floor, charred remains of worms and puddles of orange push pops, and birds' nests, once full of rotten slingshot pecans, claim vacancy and no promise. It's December 14th and hotter than it should be. Dusk, it settles in a hailstorm. It's too soon for the world to vanish, or even I. Yesterday, I told my mother how sometimes I talked to angels, and she said, baby, we all pray, and she rubbed the sapphire pendant that hung from her neck, believing, believing, and believing. She believed these blessings were hers because of it. I hated to, but I told her, no, this is real. They carry sharpened shovels for digging out stone, their eyes fully dilated because of how dark day is compared to God. They don't talk much, they tell me what I should be reading. I tell her how books are like tarot cards. They give you everything you need to know to live. Her eyes, they just roll. She prayed for me then, thinking me ill. I told her, I keep reading about fire, how this is no symbol for anything but prophecy. When I saw blue flames coming from the house, I didn't believe. Mother's body still hot, laying across the exposed coils of mattress. It was her sapphire missing that told me, my death angel, why you carry the shovel, why you bury.